Good evening, this is Brian from uh, Excel Dashboard Widgets. Um, we've just had a post on the forum from Roka1989, uh, um, who's um, saying, the needle on my linear dial widget is out of alignment when the data is at the max, the needle is past this point C attachment. Um, so instead of writing a lengthy uh, reply, I thought I'd just um, do a little uh, little video. Um, they say uh, a picture is worth a thousand words, so um, here we go. Let me just reply to your question here. Um, Roka, the problem you have is that um, one of the layers on your widget, when you've managed to copy it, um, has, has moved. So if you take the um, the Excel dashboard widgets main spreadsheet, you'll see um, if we change it, for example, the scale here, the, the maximum value, you get at 67. Okay, we're having a number of near misses a month. Let's just change this now. Near misses per month. Now it's going from zero to 67. And you're saying that the problem, okay, is the, the title is Ontario Near Misses. Interesting, interesting widget. I hope there weren't 67 near misses last month, but anyway. Right, um, so the actual value you're putting here is 67. And as you can see in, in the widget that I've just quickly created, the, the the dial is nicely it's nicely in line with the with the bottom. Um, and in fact, I can put any value here, 45 um, down to zero, and you can see that the the, the widget in, is, is nicely in line. So basically, your your problem, Roker, is that um, as I said before, one of your layers, actually the layer that holds the needle. Um, has uh, moved downwards and I can recreate that for you just by showing you um, the layers that make up the widget. So if we go to find and select on the ribbon under editing right on the end and you click the selection pane um, you can see all of the layers that uh, that make up this, this, this dial widget. So if you look at the linear dial I'm just clicking the, the, the group here you can see within that there's the title. I'm just clicking the title now. There's the main value, which is that box down here, which currently says zero. There's the, there's the needle circle, which is just that shape there. Um, there's the dial needle, which is this thing here, um, which has um, somehow uh, lost its correct position. There's the units, which, which I'm highlighting now. There's the scale. Um, and there's the background panels. So if I set the, the value over here, the actual value to 67, um, which is similar to uh, um, the version, the, the image that you posted on the, on the forum, you can see if I select on the right the, um, the dial needle, and then I just click it here, you can see What's happened is your dial needle is slightly out of out of line. So now um, I've, I've recreated your problem here, um, and as you can see, uh, um, that's the problem that you have. Um, so the way for you to solve it um, is to again uh, click on click click on the um, click on the widget. Using the find and select pane, um, uh, select the selection pane. I've unselected, I'm going to select it back again. Um, click on the needle, um, click on the box that, that holds the needle, and move it back up into the correct position. So I'm going to do a little bit more there. Um, there we go. Um, and after that, everything should work fine. Um, I'll just explain one more thing before the end of this um, little response. How this selection pane on the right works is um, it's, a, it's basically a stacking order. Um, so of all the items that the, that the widget is made up of, the items that are closer to the top, for example the title, this thing called dial needle circle, 
I'm just highlighting now. The higher they are to the top, the closer they appear to you in, in the stacking order. So if I move, for example, this 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 um, this circle down one, there's the thing at the bottom called reorder. If I move it down one, for example, let's move it down one again till it's under the units. Here it's under the scale. Let's put it underneath the needle. Let's move it right down. There we go. Now it's underneath the needle, um, so we've actually we, we can't see it anymore because it's 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 gone behind. Um, so basically, what I'm saying is, you can move all of these items. You can move up and down, and you can change how the um, how the how the how the dial is made up. Here it's a little bit difficult to see because you're actually behind the needle. They're both um, black. They're both. Um, dark colour so it's difficult to see but I can still bring it up above the needle here. There we go, we're above the needle and we're below the, the, the text for the number on the dial. Um, so there you have it. Uh, if you have any more questions um, please feel free to post um, questions or um, screenshots um, onto the forum and we will do our best to, to get back to you as quickly as possible. Um, this is Brian from Excel Dashboard Widgets. Have a have a good evening. Bye bye.